It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got the teams from Super Bowl 49 and that goal line pick. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the New England Patriots. And it's all up next. On a warm and sunny afternoon in the Bay State of Massachusetts, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical. Who wins up front? Who runs the ball the best and controls the clock? They will come out the victor. Their meeting in Super Bowl 49 was thrilling. What's in store here? The Pats and Seahawks are underway. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Seahawks set to go on offense here, and it is the pro bowler Geno Smith at quarterback, Charles, in his 12th NFL season. And Smith continues to show that his career resurgence hasn't been some fluke. He's brought a level of maturity, stability, and good play that allows him to compete with any team on any given week. The real question is whether or not he can become a championship caliber quarterback. Only time will tell, but for now, he's done enough to give this franchise reason to believe they can certainly get the job done. First carry here for Ken Walker. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second and six. Gino now to throw. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. First down for Lockett, and he's someone who's been a reliable weapon throughout his entire career. In fact, he doesn't get the credit he deserves. When it's all said and done, he's been one of the best receivers in Seahawks franchise history. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Sticking with Walker on second down. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the gun, here's Smith. A rifle's one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. The Patriots getting ready to take over on offense and leading them out in his second go-around as a Patriot, their ninth-year quarterback, Jacoby Brissett. And we're talking about one of the true professionals in every sense of the word at the quarterback position because when he's on the field, he gives your team a chance to win. But coming up, he was behind Tom Brady in New England and learned how to be a pro from him, and now he's willing to pass those lessons on. Yes, he wants to be the starter, but he's more than able to help those behind him if they're willing to put the time in. The tight end Henry here in motion. On play action, Brissett under a heavy rush, and down he goes. 
Give the sack to Jerome Baker. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football, but maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively, they got right after it. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Brissett. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Uchenna and Wosu got the sack there. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And their opening drive, that ended with the interception. Fortunate, though, it didn't lead to points. It didn't lead to points, and because they kind of got away with one, Maybe you come back and throw something similar again to show that you're not afraid, that you're not going to back down, and take your shot. Let the defense know that you're going to be there all game long. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Now second and three. In motion, the tight end. Play action. It's Smith. Escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a pickup of six. He was certainly quick to atone for his early game interception. Instead of making another mistake forcing something, he reset himself and found a lane to pick up the first down. Walker now on first and 10. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and a couple. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. They'll roll him out, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Anthony Jennings. In there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Uh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now, a three-point swing right there.
On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> play fake, Brissette. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. To throw is Brissett. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Reek Woolen in on the stop. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Brissett sets to throw it. Over the middle complete. That's Henry. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this up to the 43. That'll go as a pickup of eight. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. His throw incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because... I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Now a second and 10. Here's Brissett. And that's complete to KJ Osborne. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's gonna be made at the Seahawks 38 yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. To throw, Brissett. He completes it to Henry. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. And he stopped immediately there. Devin Witherspoon takes him down defensively. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball is moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Throw right side, gonna be taken in by Henry. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the nine. Four catches now on this drive alone. They can't stop him. It's another first down. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They want to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit of the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. 
And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack that's gotten him down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Here's Brissett. Touchdown! Austin Hooper. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Joey Sly on for the extra point. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off by the Austin Hooper touchdown. Joey slide out a kick off after the touchdown. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? <laughs> turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better, drive. The punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn into first downs and hopefully points. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Hands it to Walker to begin the series. Room here to run. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Yeah, boy, here's a sight you don't want to see. Ken Walker injured on that last play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. This is Fant on the short completion. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Second and a couple. Sheds off the tackle. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. It's a big play there for Seattle. Give him 52 yards on the ground. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two as they go to work on a first and goal. Charbonnet is in. Touchdown, Seattle. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Jason Myers now for the extra point.
It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive, four plays, and the Seahawks capping it off with a touchdown. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Able to power through. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Brissett now. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Douglas. It'll be a gain of five at its second down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Complete, Hunter Henry with the grab. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 40. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Now Brissett. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Two yards to go, second down. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. They'll throw again, Brissett. Out left and complete to Thornton. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Call that a very strong gain of 24. It's all pretty simple sometimes, isn't it? Go where the defenders are not, and he does exactly that. Makes a nice catch to move the chains. Defense, got to find a better way of accounting for the shorter routes that are being run against them. Stevenson. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second and goal from the one. Throwing. Brissett. Looking for Thornton. He's got him. Touchdown, New England. 
A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Patriots have taken the lead. So second and goal there from the one. They go to the air. And the perfect down to throw the football in this sequence. Second down is always kind of the, do they throw it? Do they run it? They worked it out to perfection on that one by throwing it into the end zone. Now Joey Sly for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was Tyquan Thornton who brought in the touchdown reception to cap things off. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And the ball now going back over the Seattle Seahawks offense. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to seven, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 26. Now Gino. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. Safety blitz, such a fun play call to witness when it works. And the deep man can get home for a sack. Great timing by him. Interception earlier in this contest. Now a sack. He's definitely campaigning for Player of the Week honors, isn't he, partner? After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. And from the gun, here's a handoff to Charbonnet. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him five yards on the run there, but it'll leave him with a definite third and long on the horizon. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Out of the gun, Smith. Flushed out right. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Anthony Jennings. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the second time. On oh, the return is Jones. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. Jacoby Brissett in the offense, ready to begin their next drive. The last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six of six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, the ball never hits the ground there either. 
And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 18 big yards on that one, and a New England first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Open man is Osborne. He's got a heck of a broken tackle and able to work this down near the 23. And I think he just wanted to get the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen, but he ends up throwing into a crowded area. And after the catch, he isn't able to do much with it. From the 23, this is second and three. Slot man moves right. Well, here's a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll look to throw it off play action. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The tight end Henry here in motion. Here's Stevenson. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. He'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Brissett. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll drop the throw. Touchdown, Patriots! Tyquan Thornton with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots have taken a two-touchdown lead now. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Slide for the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. That time, a six play drive. And it was Tyquan Thornton who brought in the touchdown reception to cap things off. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, 
the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down and three. And it's Charbonnet once again. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 77 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith sliding out of the pocket. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. After the sack here, second and 11. Throwing is Smith. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Now a tough spot for Geno Smith and company after the sack. It's third and long. Out of the gun, a give to Charbonnet. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. This is Fant on the short completion. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now Smith. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And the Patriots are going to have it here at their own 15. And when a team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line, don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series. Because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him up already in this opening half. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Thirty-five seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. From the gun, here's Brissett. He finds Douglas complete. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20.
The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Brissett. Right side, Fortin with it. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. They'll throw now on the final play. Short pass caught by Henry. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. So we've reached halftime here at Gillette Stadium with the Patriots on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We just saw a terrific first half from the well-traveled veteran, Jacoby Brissett. He threw a first quarter touchdown pass, then two more in the second quarter, a three touchdown half. And he may just be getting started. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Patriots offense with Jacoby Brissett getting ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. The Pats at the line, ready to go. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around and out. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Inside the 20, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Ramondre Stevenson, 71 yards. And the Patriots come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right? They saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Catch is made by Metcalf. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating 
what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Smith now to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Well, the Patriot offense back out getting set to go. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now second and seven from the 23. to throw Brissett looking left side and he's got a man that's Osborne and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled 17 yards on the catch and run it's a first down and while we may be looking at the scoreboard this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down even with a three score lead here in the third quarter I think they keep taking their shots they've seen blown leads happen throughout this league they don't want to fall victim to it themselves Out of the gun, Brissett. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Douglas. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 more on that one and another first down. Gibson here running out of the gun. And he's got this down to the 35. 48 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So, first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots! Tyquan Thornton, 35 yards. And the Patriots are able to widen their advantage. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Sly on for the extra point. Oh, 
And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it was Tyquan Thornton who brought in the touchdown reception to cap things off. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 23. Throwing now is Geno. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door to him, and that time worked well for a solid game. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. Repeat of the last play, finding Walker. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Off of play action, here's Smith. And he goes down, it's a Patriots sack. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Straight ahead, Walker. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. And you can tell just by looking at them that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here. And as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. Jones on the return. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And the Patriots take over. The Patriots' offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart. And that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They're just looking to do more of the same. They were good in the first half. They've extended their lead so far here in the second half. Oh, they're just looking good on all, hitting on all cylinders right now. And sometimes that means a head coach who really has a finger on the pulse of the team may not have anything to say at all. May oh, tell the rest of the coaches, up a little bit. just back it off a little bit. This team has it under control. I remember hearing about Bob Knight years ago in oh, basketball, <laughs> getting ready to give the final speech before the gold medal game in 84. And on the board, Michael Jordan wrote, had written, Coach, after all we've been through, 
There's no way we're losing tonight. He didn't even give a pregame speech. Wow, interesting. Well, right now, no speech is needed. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Here's Brissett. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. Here's second and ten. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. He gets away from one. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Third and three. Here's Brissett. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. A second and 10 now. Third quarter action from Foxborough. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. And this complete to hit, and it's out. He put it on the carpet, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 22. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 25, here's a second and eight. Gino now to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. Well, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy. And can he step into a throw? And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. New England trying to get to place on offense. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and 10. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Brissett sets to throw it. Now he's going to drop this one down to Gibson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. The tight end, Henry, here in motion. Yeah. 
straight ahead at Stevenson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now they need two. Here's third down. Brissett now. Touchdown! From six yards away. And the Patriots get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, Time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. Now Joey Sly for the point after. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Seahawks offense and Geno Smith headed back out for this next possession. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Now Gino. And Walker has it. Finding room in midfield. And gets it across the 50 and down to the 48. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. Devon Godshow up to make the tackle. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Now a play fake, and it's Smith rolling to his right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. The offense on third down, they've had their troubles. Just one for six. They're up against a third and one situation. Ball had a 
his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Desperation time for Smith on fourth down. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Here's Smith. He completes this to Walker, and he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. So the completion good for just three, and it's second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Now Smith. Left side complete to Lockett. And the Seahawks are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Walker. We'll take this into the end zone for a Seahawk touchdown. Could not block that one any better. Everyone was accounted for, and a great surge by the offensive line. Now Myers for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down to 28. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Kenneth Walker finishing things off with a touchdown run. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The home team's offense and Ramondre Stevenson getting set for this next drive. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They could definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive they want to be here down the stretch. And what some coaches do is they try and meet it halfway, meaning they want to continue to run their offense, but they'll put in a lot of backups to do it and then tell the opposing coach, hey, I had to get them some work, too. I can't just let them sit over on the sidelines all the time. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now, they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive 
as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. And out now come the Seahawks. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. That's Walker. They hold him to only two there on the screen. It's second down. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game. But I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them. Maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit and they can throw it downfield. To throw is Smith. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside, and he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. And the penalty makes this a much more manageable third down, third and two. Now Smith. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Smith. That's caught over the middle by Fant. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and a yard. Now to the ground, here's Walker. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Out of the gun, Smith. Over the middle, that's caught. Puts it on the carpet, it's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. 
Patriots offense heads back out there, and we get another look at Tyquan Thornton. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat trick, right? I'm not sure exactly what you do in the NFL, except applaud and continue to hope you see a little bit more of this. What a tremendous game. You want to start a new tradition? What can we throw on the field? I don't know. We'll, we'll throw your mic out there. <laughs> a lot of fans would like that. <laughs> Cut his mic off. Three touchdowns so far. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And some room to run now. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 122 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. 18 more yards there and another first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Seahawks 35. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Good enough to extend the drive. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, when coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here, oh, it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage, when one team is running the ball really well and closing things out, it's hotter for the defensive side, and they sag a lot quicker. Yeah, they say the dog days of August, the heat we're seeing here today, dog days of September, and the advantage right now on the offensive side. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. That will go for nine yards and a first down on the keeper. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.